creating an account to use with Zenata, the web-based translation management system. Zenata uses, at the moment, the FAS authentication system, the Fedora authentication system from the Fedora project. So if you have already a FAS account with the Fedora project, you can simply use that to sign in either at zenata.org, where you can sign in by clicking on the sign in link at the top right hand corner, or at the free hosted instance, translate.zenata.org. Again, same thing, clicking on sign in in the top right hand corner. Now, if you don't have a FAS account, it's relatively easy to get one, and I'll show you how to do that now. Go to translate.zenata.org and click on the register link in the top right hand corner. So we'll click on register here. Now it takes me to the Fedora project where I have the opportunity to sign up for a Fedora account. So I create my username, I give my full name, my email, I verify the email, I verify that I'm over 13 years of age, I answer a math equation which can sometimes be difficult to read just to prove that I'm a human, and I click on sign up. Um, what happens to me then, let me just log out, I'm already logged in, once you have, okay, I'm going to log into the system here. I'm not going to create an account. I'm going to log into my account. Once you've created your account here with the Fedora project, you need to sign the Fedora contributor agreement here. So you'll need to log into your account, your FAS account, and come in here and you'll have the opportunity to click a little kind of uh, link here next to CLA so that you can sign that. Now that doesn't mean that whatever you give to translate.zenata.org to get translated, your software, your documentation uh, is going to be contributed to Fedora. Just means that if you work on translations for a Fedora project in Zenata, then your translations are automatically contributed also to Fedora. So don't uh, have any concerns that you're signing away any rights for anything that you put in translate.zenata.org because that's not the case. Now, once you've created your account in here, you can go to translate.zenata.org and you can now sign in using your FAS account. So click on sign in. It asks for your Fedora username. You put your Fedora username in here. Now, it's not going to challenge me for my password because I already logged in to FAS separately. It's going to take me now to a Fedora page here where it asks me to approve the OpenID request. Now if I was not logged in, it would ask me for my password here. Since I'm already logged in previously, it just asked me to approve the request. So I'm logging in now. Now because I already have uh, an account on this Zenata instance, it doesn't ask me to validate my email. But the first time that you log in here, it's going to say validate your email account and you need to send that validation email Go to your email client and click on the link in there to validate your account in Zenata and then everything will be fully activated for you. So you need to create your account in Fedora Project, a FAS account, by clicking on Register in the top right hand corner. Sign the CLA in your Fedora account and then you need to log in to translate.zenata.org with your FAS account and then click on the Validate link and uh, it will send you a validation email. So click on the link in there, and then you're ready to go. You have an account that you can use with the free hosted instance of Zenata at translate.zenata.org. So the home page for Zenata, the open source free translation web-based management system, zenata.org.